Welcome back, kiddos. Let's sing that song that we've been reviewing and trying to learn so that we can get better at the blues progressions. Let's see. <clears throat> Sounds something like this. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? That F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? Of course, we could sing it over and over again. This song, Can't You See, not to be confused with the Marshall Tucker band, Can't You See, and also a very good song. Not in the blues progression, though, but still a good song. But that song, Can't You See, helps us to learn the form of the music. And everything with the blues is simple. It's got to be simple. Less is more. That's why I like the blues, because as soon as you understand some of the simpleness around it, you can actually make a ton of amazing music. In fact, it's so simple, we're gonna actually say it's as simple as the ABCs. That's what I'm starting with. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. But why did I stop at G? Why didn't I put H or I? Or even, you know, oh, somebody said it though, because it was in your mind. Those musicians remember that the musical alphabet goes from A to G. That's it. A to G. It's simple. In fact, that song, Can't You See, talks about a letter very appropriately, C. That's the first letter we sing about. And so we're going to actually give it a number one. C is number one. C is number one. You nailed it. So then we need to give some other numbers out, don't we? Um, well, if we go in order now, A, B, C, D, D is the next letter, so it'll, it'll get the next number, two. I wonder what number three is going to be. E, fantabulous. Three. So now you're figuring it out, aren't you? F is four. That's a big one. G, we sang about F and G. That's a five. And we're actually going to come back around with our numbers. We're going to give A a six. And then we're going to give B a seven. There you go. So if we're singing in C, which is actually the, the, the chord that we start with, it's in the key of C, um, we give C the one. Everything else goes in order now with their numbers. Pretty cool, huh? But I told you the blues was all about less is more. We've got to take something out here. I don't even need the six or seven right now. The blues doesn't need it. You don't need it. Let's just, let's make our lives more simple, shall we? And you know what? The song, Can't You See, didn't even sing about a D or an E, did it? No, I'm going to get rid of the D and the E. We're going to get rid of the D and the E. It looks like we're left with, can't you see that F stands for fun? G, I think that F stands for fun, can't you see? Aha! Now we know the numbers, though. If C is in there, that's the number one. If F is in there, that's the number four, I almost said two, that's the number four, and G is the number five. Most musicians speak in numbers, because that's why we're pretty good at math too, usually, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to write something down and see if you can figure this out. So, can't you see, can't you see, can't you see, can't you see, that F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? G, I think... Wait, I messed it up. <laughs> Even when I'm having fun. Let's try this again. G, I think that F stands for fun. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? There you go. I'm not even going to edit out that mistake because life is, we have mistakes. It's a happy accident. Thank you, Bob Ross. Let's try this song again, shall we? And this time we're going to sing the letter for the number. Here we go. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? That F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? 
G. I think that F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? Yeah. I think many of you, many of you are noticing that each number gets four beats. Four beats all on its own. And we usually call that a measure. So this is one measure, two measures, three, four. In fact, some people call measures a bar. So let's count our bars. We've got one, two, three, four bars, five, six, seven, eight bars, nine, 10, 11, 12 bars. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now just learned the form for the 12 bar blues. Woohoo! 12 bar blues, baby. Let's see if we can sing that together. Uh, I'm going to pick up my guitar again. Now, when you're singing your letters, pay attention to where you are in the form. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Going down to the second line, that F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? Here comes the last line, G. I think that F stands for fun. Can't you see? Can't you see? Now we're talking. That is called the 12 bar blues, and that's the form. So, here's your job. Your job is to write down the form, the 12 bar blues, and see if you can follow along with that song, the Can't You See song. Next week, or for our next show, we are going to show you exactly how to take this form and make a true blues progression using the lyrics of the blues. Now it's gonna sound a little different, especially if you remember seeing from our first video, the blues doesn't sound like that Can't You See song. It sounds like you repeat some things. We're gonna talk about that next time, but I'm glad you joined this time. Hopefully that's a little more clear for you about how the 12 bar blues gets put together using the form. That's our big word for this one, form, form. The form of our music, form. You guys have been awesome. Glad you guys were here. Stick around for the next episode so you can see how you actually write lyrics for the blues.